So today I'm going to talk you through some ways of developing your children's cutlery skills. So starting off, I just bring to your attention we have an eating and drinking leaflet on our website. So if you want to refer to that for more details, then that's available. So we always talk, first of all, about a good seating position when you're sat at the table. So as you can see, my feet are actually on a block. But at home, if you've got a box or anything that um, kind of makes your children's feet quite stable and on a stable base, we'll, we'll do the job. So, first of all, how you kind of start to think about using cutlery is you start with a spoon. So some quite helpful things you can do is um, moving items from one container to another. So I've got an example here and seeing if they can pick things up with a spoon. So it might be bigger items to start with and then moving on to smaller items. And making it part of play, so not necessarily during meal times, because that will add a bit of a pressure to that. Pop those back in there. And then next, so using some pull apart fruit, that's a really good way of increasing use of two hands, developing those bilateral skills. And then introducing the use of a knife, so it could be a plastic play knife or it could be a regular knife and seeing if your child can use the knife to cut apart the play fruit. That's a really nice one to start with. Okay. And then using regular cutlery to start with, a really nice way for kind of having a visual prompt of where to place their fingers when using a knife and fork together, is you can pop a sticker on there so that is how you would normally hold a knife and that's how you would hold a fork. So if you can see the stickers there, they can be a really good visual prompt. If your child is not quite at the stage for using regular cutlery, they can obviously use children's cutlery or there are cutlery called caring cutlery that's available online. These have chunkier handles and they also have an indent here of where to place your index finger so they can be really helpful when learning to use cutlery. Okay so a really good way of practicing to use cutlery initially is using play-doh. So you could make some play-doh or you could buy it and you could practice just on the tabletop to begin with or you could practice on a plate. I've got some non-slip matting here which is really really helpful as you can see, my plate does not move at all now that non-slip matting is in place. So again, you can buy that online and it's not very expensive. Okay, so using Play-Doh, so get your child to roll it out into a sausage type shape. And again, making it fun, so outside of meal time, so there's not that pressure. And you joining in with it as well and making it quite a fun game. Okay, so concentrating on how they're holding the cutlery and then you want to pop your fork in first and then your knife just in front and you want a bit of a sawing action so not a tearing away like that which a lot of children do that's very common but you want a backwards and forwards motion and then once they've cut it see if they can use the knife to push the play-doh off and again they could move it into another container that's a really good way of kind of encouraging and promoting that use of two hands the caring cutlery is also available in an adult size if your child is slightly older and again so the chunkier handles and they have that kind of hole there of where to place your index finger so the same again Another thing that you could practice with to make it a bit more exciting, so you could have snack time for example, and you could use a knife and fork, because obviously you wouldn't normally use a knife and fork, so it can make it more fun and more motivating. So you could chop up something like a banana, that's a really good one, or chopping up toast. If they struggle with kind of the, so say regular cutlery, if they're struggling with the holding of it, then building it up with some foam, can be really helpful so they have a bit more of a firm grip on it 
So you could get foam like this, or you could get like insulation type foam that's quite cheap and available to buy online. And they can be really helpful, just encouraging kind of those skills and developing those skills. So what we say is lots and lots of practice, making it quite a short practice so they're not getting a bit fed up of it and just repeating that as much as you can and then building it into meal times when they're feeling confident. Okay, hopefully that helps.